Heads, and welcome to the League, exploring the League of Legends lore from A to Z. My name is Rebecca. And I'm John. My name is Mark. Today we're talking about the Machine Herald Victor, who was released December 29th, 2011. We're talking about Victor? I thought we were talking about Smolder. That's all I read was the Smolder. <laughs> Fuck. I just did it five minutes ago. That's all it took. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have very strong memories of Victor being released. I do too. Oh yeah? I, really? I really remember playtesting him. Yeah. He must have been mm-hmm. very unique at the time, like his laser ability. He was. Yeah. Um, that was very unique. And also, when he was first released, at some point, somebody found that when you ulted with him, um, you know how you can like move your click your mouse to move around? Someone realized that uh, if you click the R button instead to move it around, uh, you get a gold for every time you hit the R button because I forgot his about things that. were coded as minions. It's a min- yeah, and they're killed. Yes. Oh, my that God. That is I for- so I- funny. And it became a game to see how many times you could hit the R button before they patched right. it. <laughs> At what point were they like, guys, we got to stop making everything minions? <laughs> we can't be all we minions, We can't fucking do guys. this anymore. <laughs> I guess I didn't play test it very well. As you're like, oh, I remember play testing it, but obviously we didn't do our jobs. I mean, whatever. I was, I was not. It's not my job. That is such but, a uh, like hard thing to notice because right, you click it maybe like fifteen gold. times. <laughs> like you, if you get it fifteen gold, you're not gonna fucking notice that in league. So, That's true. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Victor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to write down the quote I wanted to do. Oh. I feel okay. like... I can start this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay, okay. Join the glorious evolution. Nice. That's beautiful. That I one. figured that was going to be what Mark said, because he wrote down join the glorious evolution. Yeah, you gotta. It's like, it's his most mm-hmm. iconic. Yeah. And he says it in the comic like 1,800 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's his only line. <laughs> There was one that I liked. All of these sound so familiar to me, though, because I play Victor sometimes, and he has, like, 15 quotes, Yeah, he doesn't apparently. have a lot of quotes. I don't mm-hmm. think I realized he didn't have a lot of quotes. It's because he says them with conviction. Yeah. You, you, like, his <laughs> confidence it carries it through. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. God, I don't remember how he says this now. Should I do the hand thing like Mark did? Yeah, that sounded good. I'm going to do it, too. I like I'll steal that. <clears throat> Relinquish the flesh. I love it. I love it. Mm. Thank you. I can't do a robot's voice. Um, I don't know how Mark did it. I'm going to try and recreate. This is good. <clears throat> Steel can fix all your flaws. <laughs> He's an accent with you. <laughs> I like that you went with went for it mm-hmm. on the laugh. I like that he has an evil, maniacal villain laugh. He right. does. That's that really that what does. I think about. Every time he uses E, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. When I hit someone with it, because I'm also like... <laughs> like every time. Him, him and Singe, just two two Zon guys just chuckling at each other. Right. The whole time. Giggling all day. They're They're their best villain life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, on the universe page, he has a bio and two short stories linked, although he's not really in one of the short stories that's linked. Um, There is a comic that came out pretty recently with the release of Convergence. Um, I looked it up 18 million times, and I can't remember this. A Perfect Life, that's right. And he's, like, the main villain in it. (laughs) But you cannot find it anywhere, and it is horrible to read on the wiki, but I did it anyway. On my phone. I know. I, like... (laughs) I... Did it come out as like try- some like pre-order bonus or something for Convergence? Like, why is it impossible to find? I don't know. I tried to follow. So on the wiki, right, you can look at it on there, but they'll also have a reference link to just go to the origin, where like where it actually is, and it's not there. Yeah. Like, it's all on the um, yeah. like the Convergence Riot Forge site, and then you click to open the comic, and it's just like a blank like I don't know, like toast menu, whatever pops up. I don't know. It's just, like. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Did they just like delete it? Like, well, we're done with that release. Let's throw I don't this shit know. in the garbage. They decided they were done with Riot Forge, and they were like, "Well, then, fuck your comic." <laughs> they they also delete no the comics. No proof this ever existed. <laughs> Salt the earth. 
right? <laughs> it's a shame because we don't know that this is canon, this comic, because Convergence came out before the announcement of like everything after this is canon. And we know that Arcane is canon. And there are some connections, but I would love to see how Arcane Victor becomes this evil right evil Victor. and arcane jace becomes this jace yeah that's true this is yeah. more of like the the classic the jace. classic universe jace which was hilarious loved him <laughs> was so he fun. was really funny <laughs> but that's definitely not the jace that we get in arcane i oh my god wouldn't it be so funny if that's where they were going with jace is he just becomes this like fucking arrogant asshole right <laughs> they, well, they, yeah, like, they started we... it a little bit in arcane and then they like he was like, oh, no, he's learned. Now I feel like he should just double down now. He just, like, gets a bigger and bigger <laughs> head, right? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm really I remember having that thought when we did the Jace episode, and I'm still at that point of, like, I want to know how they're going to how they're gonna translate all this stuff that's kind of in these pieces, which are very, like, Victor is very different from piece to piece, and, and I'm really curious to see what the final pro, what it's finally going to look like, right? Because that's what, what it will be. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm really curious. Uh, That's true. Well, know. I'll go through the bio. It's a really long bio, full of shit. Like there are so many <laughs> stories within this bio. We are really following Victor through like this very dense period of his life where everything yeah. happened. It was like several mm-hmm. seasons of a TV show <laughs> compiled in his bio. <laughs> So it may not surprise you to find this bio is by Graham McNeil. Holy f- <laughs> fuck. Okay, that makes so much sense. Uh, okay. I was yeah. wondering. Um, and now most of it might not even be canon anymore. Right. I assume most of it's not canon yeah, anymore. Yeah, probably not. Um, but let's read it, and then we'll kind of pick apart how it could fit in. What could fit in with Arcane, with, with where we are. Pass the sure. line before oh, you yeah. uh, kick this off. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to get Stuck Slush. in. I was gonna pour myself a glass of the sangria, and it was gone. And I was like, "John, did you bring an entire <laughs> bottle of sangria downstairs?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I did. Sure did." It's gonna be a long episode. Yeah. Well, Victor was a normal, smart boy in Zon. Zon makes a lot of those smart, yeah. intelligent inventors. <laughs> you gotta be smart to survive. <laughs> he had a somewhat toxic work ethic, but was very good at inventing things. One day, Victor realized that most accidents in Zon are the result of human error, so he wanted to use mechanical inventions to make places safer. Only one Chem Baron gave him a chance, and it worked, so others wanted his help, too. This got him the attention of some folks in Piltover, and he was offered a chance to go to the academy there. I sum that up very quickly. It, that is several paragraphs <laughs> on the bio. You're right. Victor met Jace there. Both are so super duper smart, but absolutely loathe each other. Hate to love. Hate to, No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Not in this anyway. While Victor was in Piltover, a huge chem spill happened in Zon, so Victor went back there to help out he created blitzcrank then who helped save a bunch of people although they also tried to like find a way to help people who were affected by the spill by like merging them with machines it was kind of vague and i didn't really understand but it didn't work i think the thing that i guess the important thing was like they were they were gonna die and there was like a rot in their brain that he tried to fix without merging them and he couldn't so Mm. it kind of became the only the only way to actually save the people. Okay. This is like a separate thing from the Blitzcrank. The the Blitzcrank thing is like its own separate thing, right? Like they go clean up shit and then he gets the credit stolen. And then Blitzcrank just kind of fucks off into Zon. Sorry, sorry. This was the end. This was before. So then Victor and Blitzcrank uh, went their separate ways. When he went back to Piltover, Victor found out that his professor, uh, Professor Stanwyck, took credit for Blitzcrank. No one stood up for Victor, including Jace a-hole so victor never got credit for his successful heroic golem i don't know why blitzcrank couldn't have been like uh uh it was me well because in blitzcrank's bio none of that happened that's so. fair <laughs> man that's yeah. also true. <laughs> victor decided to just move on though he and jace's differences finally got to be too much on a project they did together for like these diving suits people were like they wore them to clean the docks and pilt over, but they were complaining of hallucinations when they went down too far for too long. So Victor found a way for them to wear a helmet that allowed them to con- like allowed him to control their fear responses. It saved them, but Jace was not on board with this like level of control that he had. So they stopped working together, and Jace even reported Victor, and he got kicked out of the academy. Now I'm remembering 
Silco's lair in Arcane. <sighs> and the the fucking massive ass fish that they're like maybe they weren't hallucinations. <laughs> Victor, yes. maybe, maybe there are there. just massive sea monsters down <laughs> like there. Like eyes, and they were said they were, they were seeing like bodies, like reanimated corpses or something. Like that just might be mm. under there. Could honestly. be too. It's rune terror. Sure. There's they're reanimated harmless. corpses harmless. Just... all over the place. <laughs> don't make eye contact don't bo- with them. <laughs> they're more scared of you than you're scared of them. Okay, just <laughs> when you turn, you like look at them. They Ring stop like like the ghosts in Mario. <laughs> 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 oh, so cute. Anyway, Victor went back to Zahn. He got really sad and blamed human emotions for all of his problems. So <laughs> he did some surgeries on himself to get rid of all those nasty, gross, icky dicky emotions. And he became the Victor we all know now in the game League of Legends. <laughs> he ended up changing his entire personality and now he just wants to bring a glorious evolution. Basically, he's a Cyberman from Doctor Who, if you've ever seen that. Humans are weak and dumb, and we should use technology to make them better. So that's what he did in Zaun for a while, saving a lot of people, but at a cost. He became pretty well known. I think the line was like, if you were desperate, you went to Victor, (laughs) kind of thing. We're not done. One day there was another (laughs) toxic spill. Yeah, sorry, I messed up the last one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. There was another. I yeah, for, you fuck. There's just so there's no there's shortage of toxic there's spills. There's so right, yeah. many in the comic. Fucking Echo's dad just splashes in some toxic spillways as he's walking down the street. <laughs> it's funny. Day. Yeah, it's like dog shit on the street. It's like, yeah, watch out for it. <laughs> watch out for the fuck up new loafers. <laughs> Uh, okay. Some, it happened in the sump. A ton of people were turned into, and this is their quote, rabid psychotics. Victor sedated them and brought them into his lab, trying to undo the toxin, which was eating away at their brains. He was able to make a machine that opened their heads to, like, filter the bloodstream, but the machine wasn't it's powerful enough. It's called the enough. saw. <laughs> <laughs> it's been invented, Victor. I yeah, get you're they- smart, but, like, not everything is yours. <laughs> the old. <laughs> yeah, saw. <laughs> Those were originally uh, invented for childbirth. Oh. Saws. Fun fact. She yeah. listens to Think a lot of saw bones. <laughs> which, mm. you know, aptly named. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, Victor's machine wasn't powerful enough, but he followed a new power that was floating around that led him to Jace, who was playing with a hex crystal. He uh, he found it in Shirima. That's where hex crystals come from in canon now, right? Honestly? <laughs> I was reading back through the council archives, and maybe. <laughs> really? Even like with Arcane, you think they're coming the from The Arcane Shurima? council archives. Oh, okay. Mm. Fuck me. Never mind. I'm, I'm egg on my face, right? <laughs> That's something <laughs> you're so say. smart. <laughs> <laughs> Jace wouldn't give him the crystal, though, so Victor stole it. The crystal did help his machine, um, but before the machine could complete his work, which is like just kind of controlling their brains the way they the way they describe it in the comic was he scooped out their brains and put them in something else the it, it had very much like nightmare before christmas that like doctor vibe oh you know, sure it's just yeah. like open his head uh. and scratch his brain and <laughs> Yeah, before the machine could complete its work, Jace busted in, destroyed everything with his hammer, and all the people died. Naturally, Jace returned Piltover, a hero. Victor escaped and is still trying to make Zahn better with his machines or something. That is his bio. There's a lot yeah. of shit in there. I would say most of it is not going to fit in what they have with Arcane, <laughs> Except maybe how Victor got to Piltover. Like... <laughs> That he was kind of helping people in Zon and that got the attention. I don't know. It's funny too because the very first line I think of the bio was immediately uh, no longer relevant. <laughs> I think the, the first line was the like first line Victor was. was born in Zon on the borders of the Entrasol level, which we know that he was born in the mining colonies. <laughs> not, oh, I did not remember not the that. Entrasol level. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if the mining col- the, the mining shit really even existed that much in the kind of like universe right. older canon you know it's always just like some vague sort of like they're down in the sump doing something i don't know they're doing <laughs> some something shit down there <laughs> we both make the same I'll get, stupid i'll get you a little something something, something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i don't know yeah I mean, uh yeah go ahead sorry i've been talking for well, i was gonna say you you had it you, you certainly had it right i don't know about a lot of this the big question for me is like you think Blitzcrank gonna be an arcane? It's such like a small like I footnote so. in his 
I hope so. T- I mean, I kind of hope. So. I kind of hope so too. I don't know. I would it's love hard to. That. Um, I kind of would love it too. It's, it's probably one of those things that would make me shit my pants. You know, right? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it, it's a question of how they arrange it. You know, and it, it's. I don't know. It, I think there's not really. Pro- I feel like. I feel like there's not really room for Blitzcrank to be re- like like a, like Heimerdinger kicking around for no. many episodes as a yeah. proper character. You'd have like the last episode after Victor's gone full metal. Like you'd have him, and he'd have like something that looks kind of like Blitzcrank and Shad. It'd be like the way they handled War, like Warwick, <laughs> almost right. Like you know, what I mean, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have know. no idea Maybe- where Vic like because season two is the last one, right? So I just don't know where Victor's going to end up because he's pretty full villain in canon, like as of right now. They um, say that. What? Season two was the last, last one in Son Piltover. Last one in Son oh, Piltover. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No. You scared the shit no. out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I would say that that casually. So I'm kind of curious how <laughs> far off the deep end he's going to get. And what we've seen in Arcane, like, his augments kind of are almost more void-like. Right. Um, like, yeah. they're metal, but... They ain't... <laughs> The normal. He didn't build them. No, that, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the thing. He didn't build those, so I am curious where that's gonna end up. It, it, it's a good question. I think it's it's hard too because like he in in it. This is what I said earlier, where like he really changes from story to story, right? Like I like ultimately Victor to me is like he's kind of at war with himself because there's there's two <laughs> victors, right? It reminds me a bit of like Quinn, where he's one. He's there's a victor who's like a, a proper Doctor Doom super villain. And you see that in, like, the comic and some of, like, the, the bio and a little bit of that Jay story. But then there's, like, his his short story and, and s- s- some of, like, maybe a little bit of his older lore where he's just this, like, this quiet, witch lonely, doctor. misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. He's not even, like, evil. He's, like, he just, you know, I, I don't know. Um, and I kind of like that second one more. I do, too. So, I don't know. I Yeah. I um, think that's what so they would hope- lean into with Arcane. Like, his color story, which we'll get to soon, I'm sure. That I, I could see Arcane Victor becoming that guy, right? Yeah. In Zon, like very easily. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, and I he, mean, you know, I. I oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say he is still pushing his, like, kind of agenda of being part machine is inferior. And even if you don't need an augment, why wouldn't you get one? Because it could make you better. Um, so I think it's still there, but not in, like, this world domination type of way which is yeah. less that that's less interesting to me him being like everyone shall be machine like that's just <laughs> okay bud <laughs> yeah i i, I agree room you know, terror is a big I, place <laughs> <laughs> yeah room ter- no one's gonna give <laughs> a shit a Get, try that in ionia or some shit right now like they're not gonna care you're gonna die so fast God, I, w- I would love i would love to see some some zon augment Victor thugs or whatever interact with some some Ionia nature right. magic stuff. I don't know. That's a weird mishmash. You know what I mean? It's like cool. Your lasers are cool, but did you know there are space dragons out there? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> and actual dragons. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. We just talked about one. Um, yeah. I, you know, it's like you said. He's he's a lot more like militant about it, especially in the that most recent comic. Um, and I. I I guess I kind of like the quiet, misunderstood Victor because I think, in my mind, that kind of gives more credence to some of his ideas or some of his perspective, right? Like, I like, I would kind of like that they if they would purge out. Okay, so here's okay. We're talking about the bio, right? Um, I really, I really don't like the the interaction with him and Jace that causes them like that that kind of in the back half where he scoops people's brains out and stuff because it feels very like contrived or convoluted that like he had to scoop these people's brains out and Jace it's 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 like a really frustrating rom-com almost where there's just a misunderstanding and no one's talking to each other and that's what causes all of the problems um i guess i kind of like just more that like if they really harp like harped on the on the blitzcrank thing right and, and like that's a really big thing he created a sentient like steam golem <laughs> right and and you know that's you could just kind of work with that probably you don't need this weird like Jace showed up, but he didn't tell Jace what was happening because he knew Jace wouldn't listen, and so they had this big superhero fight. You know, it's like <laughs> it, it, it feels a little like, um, you know, if, if you just kind of had him be someone who was constantly 
just trying to put forward these ideas. It wasn't like trying to push it on anyone. Even if you, you could even get to like that diving suit thing, right? And maybe he, you know, maybe you write it so that he was a little more like understood kind of what he was suggesting and, and trying to make it more of a consensual thing, but no one listens, right? It, and, and he becomes very disillusioned with uh, all of these people who are so logical and scientific immediately giving into their base like emotions and fears and he can't get a word in edgewise, shit like that. Things that would really push him into thinking like, you know what? Fuck emotion. Fuck this <laughs> shit. I'm done. No. And if you guys want to not have emotion, come on down to Ember, Ember Flit Alley or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely so. like that a lot because emotion can really get involved in sciences. And something you see a lot with scientists is they are very stubborn in their ways. And when you put forth a new idea, like the amount you have to prove, um, and even even proof oftentimes isn't uh, respected. I mean, the guy who told people to wash their hands because they were killing people doing surgeries something i got from sawbones <laughs> he was ostracized from the community <laughs> so they're like how dare you tell me to wash my hands before i perform surgeries <laughs> that's preposterous you're telling me these invisible creatures killing <laughs> yeah our... there's middle miniature creatures on my hands killing people you're right. an idiot have this man committed spit in his mouth on the way <laughs> yeah basically i also um i don't like the relationship with him and Jace at all. It's so much cheaper that they're really, really good friends. So I like that Arcane made that change. Like, they have such a great relationship, and it's devastating when it starts to fall apart and Victor starts to not trust him with some of the things that he's doing. Yeah. And I think yeah. if, if they were really close and then Jace didn't back up Victor about the Blitzcrank thing, that would have been more heartbreaking. I didn't care that Jace didn't back him up on Blitzcrank. I'm like, of course he doesn't. He freaking hates Victor. Why would he <laughs> back him up on a claim? But for him to like, mm -hmm. maybe he's worried about his own career and doesn't want to stand up to his professor and puts that first, like that would have been really sad and understandable, but also shitty. Yeah. Because he is sure, probably right, going to be yeah. in a position of power, as the yeah. rest of the council is almost assuredly mostly dead at the end <gasps> of the day. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I mean, but that's that's kind of the thing, right? Is that with Piltover, like, yeah, science and reason and all that shit, but there's obvious like politi politics is what the the name of the game, right? Yeah. Um. So it makes perfect sense that like you know Chase would end up in that kind of position that he has to play the political game. Victor is obviously the type of character who would not who who would be like disdain like hold a bunch of disdain for that in in the first place it, it it feels like it's it's kind of naturally set up there it's just like you said it's weird that they made them so antagonistic maybe at this if if that was the way the relationship started and they quickly became like because that's a little bit of how it starts in arcane they they butt yeah. heads a little bit but then they become bros right like <laughs> just be super bros and then have the shit fall apart it's great i don't know science yeah. bros yeah i have a few specific yeah. quotes from from the bio that I okay. think are are now are now contradicted by Arcane, so we can <laughs> we can kind of assume that they are they are not true anymore. Um, so let's see. But Victor's work had attracted the eye of Professor Stanwick Padidley of Piltover, <laughs> who convinced him to leave Zahn and travel to Piltover's Academy instead. Um, so I mean, we did find out in Arcane that Stanwick Padidley is a real inventor in Piltover, or was a real inventor in Piltover. Would not have been alive in time to bring up uh victor from zon into piltover so that likely didn't happen so the whole blitzcrank thing likely didn't happen it was you know if they decide to go that route it's going to be someone else um also victor said that nobody believed in him when he came up from zon and if he was pulled up by stanwick that's not true <laughs> yeah i mean and heimerdinger wasn't he like an assistant, like Heimerdinger's like primo assistant, like his right hand man, right at the start of everything? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Um, there's another quote: "The two worked together frequently, but never truly became friends." And I'm going to quote uh, Jace here talking to Mel Medarda. He's like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Which would surely <laughs> cut Victor deep because he's clearly in love with Jace in Arcane. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, I think those were it for like the direct quotes. I, I thought the the whole thing with the diving suit was interesting um, because it's very much like it's very much sins singe <laughs> <laughs> school of thought. <clears throat> um, so I'm interested to see. A, as far as we know, at the end of Arcane, um, Victor left on 
good terms with Singed. Um, Singed gave him the warning that, you know, your friends won't understand what you're doing. Victor was like, no, Jace will understand. Victor changed his mind real quick about that. There's a very good chance season two we're going to get a lot more Victor singed interactions. Yeah, so how did they? See how that, uh... Victor knew him as a child, right? Is that I have only seen Arcane once. Yeah, yeah. Trying to so Victor, you know, he built a little mechanical boat mm. and uh, he lost track of it and it floated into a cave where Singed was doing kind of experiments on. Um, God, I forget what the I forget what those creatures are called. Yeah, the I know they're little legends, they even... but. Oh, okay. They're little legends. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. That's how they originally met. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that makes sense. They're going to get into the Warwick stuff with Singed. I really like that. I, I really like that pairing. I think that's a really smart um, decision. Um, yeah, because I could see I'm, I'm, Victor I'm kind of slowly getting more and more twisted as he spends time with Singe and is working on his own experiments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. he's, yeah, he's and, and like really... been a lot of the uh, flesh to, you know, flesh to mechanic. Like that's his whole thing. Singed. <laughs> he loves. He loves combining. Uh, <laughs> Neat know, and metal. And he loves <laughs> mixing and matching. <laughs> Can't stop the guy. S- S- will it blend? <laughs> <laughs> this human arm <laughs> and a Terrific. bowl of rice. <laughs> Ugh, human dust. Don't breed this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Some more timely references. I like it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I um, I had a thought, but my brain just 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 farted. So don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got for the bio. Yeah, me too. Sure. Want to move on to House on Amber Flit Alley by yes. Ray Lahai? Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. Um, I, I liked this one. Like you said, I kind of like the, the Victor that's de- yeah. depicted here. Um, so it's following, a, 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 I guess, a little kid who's getting kind of bullied by this group of... They're a little Zahn kid, obviously, who's getting kind of bullied by these other bigger, tougher Zahn kids. And, and, and I like it because Singed... Not Singed, fuck... We've been talking about him too much already. Yeah. Victor's like house is like the creepy old haunted house <laughs> that's on Emberflit Alley, and they're kind of like forcing him to go yeah, in. Yeah, you go in. He reminded me of the scientist in like Edward Scissorhands right. or something like that. Is yes, what I was getting. Yeah. I, 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 I would be curious if, if I could pick, if I could ask Rayla Hyde one question, um, it would be is that intentional? Because it, <laughs> like, as you say it, it feels like really specific. Um, but yeah, so they like kind of force him to go in and go steal something of, of, of worth, and if he doesn't come back out with it, they're gonna beat him up real bad. Um, and he he gets in, and it is a very scary, <laughs> very scary place. It's full of like you know glass jars with weird organic and mechanic things sort of mixed and just floating in them, and like a gurney that's like covered in blood and stuff. And then there's Victor, and he's got his arm open. You know his mechanics and his or his 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 meat kind of all mixed together in there, and he's he's just working on it. You know he's got his little death ray laser, just sh- you know soldering some you know some shit, and the, and the kid's kind of freaking out. But but Victor is is pretty you know calm, and he's just like, oh, I'm I'm fixing my my tendons. Do you want to come look? Check it out. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Um, and the kids are like, you're you're you're. <laughs> Victor, Victor. Right? <laughs> are you gonna take my replace my head with a dog or some shit like i don't know what you know <laughs> all these <Mars> rumors attacks. <laughs> yeah ex- right <laughs> right <laughs> um and victor victor is for the whole time is pretty plastic he's like oh is that what they, they think about me it's like that that would that would be silly you know um, you know, where did you hear that I, re- I replaced old Timmy Timmy's head with a, a dog? Did you hear it from it from Timmy? He's like, he's like, oh no, I heard it from his cousins, aunts, uncles, you know, roommate <laughs> or whatever. And he's like, oh, it must be true then. Hmm. Um, <laughs> but he makes him some some warm milk, some warm sweet milk, using his death ray to heat it up. And he he's just sort of explaining that, like, you know, it's like you know fear is 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 you know this thing that controls people and and uh you know you shouldn't really let it control you and if you want if you want <laughs> no pressure i have a little thing that could temporarily make it so that you don't feel fear right and, and what i kind of find is that when bullies don't have fear to feed on they kind of starve and the kid is kind of looking out at them 
Victor gives him a little megaphone and be like, here, scream into this as loud as possible. And he screams <laughs> in and it like, like echoes throughout the whole street and kind of spooks him. Um, and he gives him this, the, the kid, this, uh, this little, I guess, augment for like a better word. It's this little like silver bead that he puts behind the kid's ear and will last about 20 minutes, he says. And after he puts it in the kid, the kid's whole demeanor changes. And he's like, do you know what, you, you know what you need to do now, right? And the kid's like, yes, I do, Victor. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, and he goes out and the bully's like oh hey look it's a little dopey how come you don't have anything and the kid just beats one of their asses <laughs> and, the, and the rest run off and and I will say for Victor's part he is after he sends the kid out he is watching and he is watching in the context of he wants to see how the experiment will work out and kind of <laughs> looks on with like oh good to know good to know that that's how that, that's how that works and if you ever want anyway, I guess he's also like hey if you ever want this to be permanent you come on by you come see Victor first taste is free right. <laughs> I'll give you another little dime bag <laughs> well, you're right um, but that's it I, I really I actually really like this there are a lot of little details I like I like that the way they describe Victor's place is it is like a little horror house and Victor's kind of looking around he's like you know, this is just cozy to me, but I can kind of see how a little kid would think this is spooky. I guess I could see all the brains being a scary thing. Kind of see I'm it. really used to it, but... Yeah. yeah, I do. I did really like this. I will say... So I feel like at the end he's finding, okay, fear. When you don't feel fear anymore, it makes you more powerful. But I think that there is a side to that... Your fear response is very important. <laughs> Could you imagine if you just never felt any fear, you would die so fast. <laughs> sure. You just go up and sure. try and uppercut Urgot. Yeah, <laughs> I almost kind of wish that the kids all just beat the shit Keep out of him afterwards, because right. that makes more sense to me. Like, yeah, like yeah. there are a lot of bullies that if you stand up to them, they will back down. But this is a group of bullies, and like, I, I don't know. I I've seen Karate like, Kid. Yeah, I feel like they would have just been like, did you just fucking hit me and just beat the crap? It didn't make him more powerful. It just made him not afraid. That's true. I, I agree. I think I would like that, too, because um, it would really kind of hammer on that while Victor comes off as pretty genial and kind of kind of kind and caring, mm. um, you know, Victor really shouldn't really feel a lot. He really shouldn't see, like, be like, oh, I'm going to help this little kid. He should really just see him like like his, it kind of hints at as just like a, a resource. Like, oh, this is an experiment. Let's see what happens. Oh, the kid got his ass beat. I guess I need to add something else. Like, like if he just made yeah, a note, like, like oh, I need to add, like, fear. an adrenaline boost or something. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah that. I like that. Kind of like singed, honestly. That would put, it mm. would put him in a really singed place. Maybe that's a little too dark. I don't know. I It's hard because I, I grapple with liking Victor not really as a villain, just as someone who's really misunderstood. But when you do pull all or most of the emotions out of somebody like they're gonna do some kind of villainous shit just by nature of like cold calculating logic you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, it's very ultron you know it's sure yeah right like there's there's gotta be some sort of like perfect middle ground for victor and i don't know i don't quite know what that looks like i guess he's gotta retain his humanity you know while still being a mechanical scientist i think our king will pull that off i think so yeah yeah that's that's what I was going to say earlier is that like, I feel like in the written word with, with league, a lot of the time they try and do this, like, Oh, it's a misunderstanding. Both sides are kind of wrong and they don't really always pull it off very well. But I thought arcane did that beautifully with like, you know, Vi and jinx. Yeah. So I have a lot of trust in it. Mm-hmm. I'll say. Yeah. That's all. Um, uh, a few notes about this. Okay. One of the, uh, when we were first introduced to Victor, it said Victor's third arm he emitted a thin ray of light that welded metal into his left arm with steady precision. And we need a new name for that because third arm <laughs> is already taken yeah. and it's not good. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. Is that a, that must be a guy third thing, leg. huh? I was yeah, third you know, leg like makes leg. more sense. Kickstand, you know. He but. says I'm working on one of those too. <laughs> 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 I all admit yeah, to funny. every part of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit already, how this is a very different victory than the bio. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it, the bio very specifically was like, he didn't even like distractions. You know, if people were like, there's a chem spill, you mm-hmm. need to evacuate. He's like, Ugh, interrupting my work. And now he's like inviting distractions. And he's got mm-hmm. the human weakness of sweet milk. <laughs> <laughs> he did admit it was a human weakness. 
he could build it out of him if he wanted. He's choosing. <laughs> I suppose to that's it. true. I guess I. That's something good, I'd like though. to explore with Victor. The sweet milk, especially that he heated it up with his death ray. I did like that bit. Like uh, I thought that was a neat little detail. Right. <laughs> See, this it is just the... splashes everywhere. I can't imagine that working very well. <laughs> it just shoots right through like the the <laughs> stove or whatever. <laughs> Fuck! I forgot to turn it down. Oh, damn it! Damn it! <laughs> He throws in a big pile of of like saucepans that are all like <laughs> giant laser holes in them. We're making a mundo now. But, um, <laughs> kind of, yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, I know. I guess I would kind of like the idea, and I think there are hints of it with Victor sometimes that like he he he's he's kind of like deluded almost that he thinks that the, that there's a solution and it's purging all this emotion, but there's this little core to him that like maybe doesn't really believe it all the way. He kind of holds on to those little bits of humanity every now and then i don't know for someone who's like so supposed to be like purged of emotion he seems to emote a lot especially in like the comic <laughs> i felt like yeah it reminds me of like the nobodies yes. from kingdom hearts if you know what like yeah. i don't know john wood <laughs> i don't know he's anyway. a big loser yeah oh, about kingdom hearts. sorry <laughs> so yeah i don't know mm-hmm. um before we hop into the comic too, uh, I know a quick fix was not about Victor at all. I did want to talk a little bit about the mention of him. Actually, yeah, first, yeah. first things first. One thing I wanted to mention was uh, the <laughs> one quote for Jace. Uh, he watched the door open. His fingers tightened on the trigger, and he almost blasted a seven-year-old girl's head off. Like it's weird that this is a problem with Jace. This is this is, is... <laughs> it persists into the comic too. He's got this guy, man. He kills a lot of kids. Did, did some of that? He almost you know... killed a kid here, drawing. All right. Well, he finished the job in Arcane. Oh shit. Yeah, no, that's a really it is a weird detail for him. But you know what? Consistency is 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 there. We'll say. Uh, I also thought it was funny. Uh, There's a quote here. Tubes of bright green chems protruded from the base of their necks, connecting to their limbs. Their eyes were dead, their faces emotionless. Jace had been expecting to see automatons, but Victor likely couldn't have gotten so many through Piltover unnoticed. Like, y'all think that people in Piltover would be more suspicious of an automaton (laughs) than people with bright green chem tubes coming out of their neck? Fucking excuse me? (laughs) I mean, maybe, yeah. Those know. are just their lime sacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it gives them sweet tequila drinks directly. <laughs> if only. That's an augment I'd buy. <laughs> you don't like tequila. But if I didn't have to taste it. But if it was in a nice margarita, you know, that's true. Mainline it. <laughs> Why can I hold all these limes? Thanks to these augments. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. my I, glass. Yeah. Thank you. Were you gonna Were you gonna go more into into that story? No, I was gonna skip straight to a perfect life. That's fine. I was just gonna say that, like, that's something where it, again, it's we're back to in that story. We're back to Victor being like a proper superhero, like or supervillain, I should say, where he's got his like Kim slaves. I think is the way they're referred to. Like, you know, it's just, it's just weird, right? It's again, it's just so different from the Victor that we just talked about in the short story, where he's in his little quiet you know spooky haunted house um and now he's got these like roving bands of thugs like go kick jace around a bit you know what i mean what did i chant in doctor who i can't remember the segment i don't know i never watched doctor who i actually probably have the quote here because he does have a a cyberman quote (laughs) of course he does they even kind of look like cybermen in the comic interesting i don't know doctor who Uh, sounds cool though maybe i should watch some of it Doctor Who's pretty fun. I always end up falling off of it, but like, it is a good time. Like, it's just a good time. There's so many. Yeah. Oh, this probably isn't something they yell a lot. It's just something they said. Oh yeah. (laughs) My opponents need to be upgraded. Is a is a Cyberman. Mm Hmm. Cool. Hmm. Um. But uh. But yeah, we we can go on to the comic. Yeah, I have notes for kind of the the the. Victor bits if you know I don't know. Man, if only like Victor had more quotes. I could have done a Cyberman <laughs> or Victor. <laughs> that that's true. We have freedom from uh, disease, protection against heat 
and cold, true mastery. Do you prefer to die in misery? That's something that the Cybermen say. It's very Victor. The Cybermen right? sound pretty cool. <laughs> I'll also throw it out there. Warhammer 40k, Abdeptus Mechanicus, they're pretty much just Victor. They're just a bunch of robot dudes who just, you know, who live on Mars. The only thing I know about Warhammer is that rat game we played. <laughs> They're not rats, but I, you know, it's it, they're in the ballpark, I suppose. They're vermin. <laughs> they were rats. I played it. I killed a lot of them. <laughs> That's true. There's a shit ton of them. There's that a, tide, was fun. a tide of them, in fact. We should play that again. We should play more. Yeah, I would play that more. Um, yeah, you can go through the notes if you want, or I can I can run through it. I, I'm I'm fine either. I don't know how many how he is for ages. You get splitsies. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have them by by issue or? No, it's just kind of like a broad summary. Oh, okay. Um, okay. They, but also, that kind of includes the Echo shit. It's also, it should be noted that on the wiki, they're not in the proper order as well. <laughs> the issues. Yeah, it's just... I opened them all, and I was like, oh, it starts with number five. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, make sure you look at the issue numbers at the start, people. It's important. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're starting at five. Uh, do you have um, all the credits, by the way? I this? only have yeah, the whole credits page. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they do I don't have, have the yeah, credits page, which is nice, you know? Yeah. They have it in. They have it in uh, every comic, in fact. Mm-hmm. They also have yeah, like a I'll, I'll diagram of like Piltover and all the levels of the song, oh, yeah, yeah. which is pretty cool. Which I had to they double check out... to make sure that the Entrasol level wasn't lower than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> was it where you expected it to be? It was right there was in the a, middle. It was technically a little lower than I thought it was. I think I had it confused with the Palisade level, but it was still That's not fair. as low as it would have been for mining. I like that they have like Jace, Jace's lab. Like here's specifically where it is, by the way, just in case you're curious. It's right there. Um, I was also lower than I would have expected, page. honestly. Maybe it's pretty high up, rel- relatively. I don't know. What can I say? Um, I was trying to find the credits page. I was really hoping to be able to do that real quick, but uh, uh, okay, okay, hold on. Give me two seconds. I think I got it here, right here. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yep. Uh, so the writer was John O'Brien. Uh, layouts, uh, Dietrich O. Smith. Pencils for issues one and four, Dietrich O. Smith. And then for issue five, uh, Chrism Zamora. Uh, inks for issue one, Dietrich O. Smith. Issues two and four, William Wolford. Issues three and five, Chrism Zamora. Colors, Kyle Brightbill. Lettering in the EU languages, uh, Studio Ram. Lettering in non EU languages, Comic Crafts, Tyler Smith. Uh, cover artist is Corey Lewis. Uh, editors were Sabrina Futch and Kate Gary for issues one and three. Uh, the comics narrative lead, Molly Mahan. And special thanks to Mary Gumport. So I always like <laughs> thanks, a nice full credits page. Aw, <laughs> thanks, show me a coke. <laughs> I, like, I like a nice full credits page for a comic. I feel really yeah. bad when we do a comic and it's like, I got a writer, but right. someone yeah, drew this and it wasn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's, 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 this is an, an echo story, I guess, to be clear, obviously it's from convergence, right? Um, and it's, it's kind of following a day in the life of echo. He's got his crew that we get to meet. We get to get his parents name, which I didn't write down, but <laughs> they're still alive. They're still kicking around in here. Still kicking. Yep. Worse, um, but the a little worse conf- for the wear, but they're still around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big conflict is that Echo's father's eyesight is going, and in about three months he will be fully blind. And and Echo's trying to figure out what to do, and and uh, runs into this guy who is giving away augments to Zonites because he wants to sell them to Piltovens. And if he, for some reason, he kind of thinks that hey, if they see all the Zon people are using it and it works for them, then the Piltovens will think it's good, it's okay and safe. I don't know if that logic tracks, but right? you know what? <laughs> it's like, the Piltovens don't really hey, have a strong opinion. If it's good enough for the Zonites, it's good enough for us. <laughs> I guess it's like I they're, the that Zon tech. <laughs> they're, they're the testing rats for Piltover, right? I guess Kinda, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I think so, but they're giving away for fr- they're being given away for free. Um, I really would like to almost revisit this this comic for Echo specifically because, like, I'm kind of middling about the Victor stuff, but I really like the Echo stuff. I don't want to get yeah. too much into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but he convinces his dad to go get one, and we see that this guy. So I guess the other thing to know for Victor is that the current the current kind of prevailing belief in in Piltover is that Victor is dead. Um, and even the members of I don't know if we really got into it, but Victor has kind of a cult that sort of fall sprung up sort of around him or following him called the cult of the glorious, like the glorious evolved. 
um, who are also super into the like become machine thing, even they think that he is is dead and gone and will just return someday, kind of like a second coming type Jesus, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> They'll hide Victor eggs and not- try to find them when he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I think that's what <laughs> I think they hide cogs. <laughs> the hide glorious cogs. egg evolution. <laughs> I like the, <laughs> but, uh, um, but Victor is alive. With the reveal, kind of the end of con- the issue one is that Victor is alive, and this this benefactor, this guy who's giving out free augments, is leveraging Victor to actually create the the tech, right? Um, and is he's kind of raises a good point about like Victor filter over things you're fucking nuts. Uh, the last thing they knew, you had a bunch of people with their brains scooped out, so you let me be the face and you do the work, <laughs> I like right? His, his accent. But he's like, you're the brains Victor on the baby. face. Yeah, Victor, yeah. baby. You're not a people person. Go, I'm good with people. Just keep doing work. You're doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you do uh, your mask or whatever with your numbers. and <laughs> Also, wear this but, new uh, mask. You look like a fucking psychopath. That was <laughs> <laughs> it is a dopey looking mask that he gives him. I swear, I hate that new mask. It, that he gave it almost looked like Jin's face. It did. A bit. It kind of okay. did. It's almost yeah. like Jin's face. I thought it's when I first saw almost. it, I was like, it, "Are they just now making it that they created Jin's mask?" That's weird. Is Victor Jin? Is Victor? <laughs> <laughs> it but really, they're all sense. LeBlanc anyway. So. I've never seen him in the same place. <laughs> this is true. You can't lie. Um. Victor, like, he goes out on the town in his, like, his pimp, co- like, disguise. You know what I mean? Like, he's wearing, he's got his cane. He's got this, like, big coat to, like, hide himself. Uh, he looks he looks like uh, Kramer from that one episode of, uh, of Seinfeld. You know? I don't know that one. But... I do know that one. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I mean. He looks I like know him. what you mean. He's kind of doing the Heimer thing where he's he's just like he's pretending to be a commoner and he's going out amongst the people to see what they're doing with the augments that he's given them. And he's like, they're wasting them. You know, they're using their new legs to, to like show off in parkour or their cool new extendo <laughs> arms to graffiti jinx graffiti like at really high spots. Right. He's getting really frustrated. You know, the way an unemotional robot is, he's getting really pissed off about it all. Um and he eventually, funny enough, is confronted by some cl- some uh, cult of the glorious of all people who had showed up earlier, and and he's getting mad at them, obviously, because he also thinks the whole like worship and religion thing is is like just a, a human failing. Uh, he beats them up super good, and then reveals that he himself is the Messiah Victor, and they're like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> you're our man, you're our guy." Um, and they they're like, "Wait, wait, wait, check out what we got." And so they take him back to the the ruins of his lab where. They have been like building their own little. <laughs> they take them back to the commune, right? Where they've like they. <laughs> we all grow right? our own food here. Yeah, they grow yeah. their own food. It's a peaceful, loving commune, and they just want everyone to be happy. Um, but and it's got also, a bunch I of have science. a mind control device, <laughs> yeah. and I have six wives, it. and that's where the orgies <laughs> happen. Right, right. And any young men, we're gonna kick out, and we're gonna. It's all gonna right. Um, yeah, they got a bunch of Cybermen there. And and they have his they say his like transmitter is the thing that lets them control people. And and Victor's like, Oh, this is pretty fucking badass. And then there's like a big uh chemical fire and what they they do is the the guy who's kind of showing him the place just presses the button and all of the, the Cybermen, all of the, the like mechanized automaton people, just walk into the fire to put it out, like at the the expense of their own lives, right? And for some reason, Victor is like, this is super fucking cool. You've done it. I didn't think that we could do it, but you guys have done it. Good shit. Um, they get into a fight with some piltover like enforcers who are seeing what's going on. Uh, and, and, and it kind of convinces Victor that, like, yeah, this is the way we're going to do this. Um, now, for, for Echo's part, he's got some friends. His friends have gotten some of the free augments. Um, and he's not quite sure how to feel about it. His dad is going to get the augment and he's like oh, okay i guess it's fine then when he goes back all of his augmented friends are acting super fucking weird <laughs> like you know not really responding and kind of being monotone and just talking about how they're operating at you know peak efficiency and shit um and and, and echo's not too sure about all this so he sneaks into the compound where the, the augments are getting done and he finds i guess like victor's like office i guess we'll say uh and he finds you know a picture of jason victor he finds one of their old diving suits that they worked on with jace's you know seal of approval on it and he's like i don't know what's going on here but jace is jace is caught up in it and indeed uh, echo's dad is now all borged out essentially 
So he's got to go get to the bottom of it. He goes to confront Jace. Jace is like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but it sounds like that's some Victor shit, I suppose. <laughs> um, but Jace does not want to go help Hector. Or e- Hector. <laughs> Echo. <laughs> Hector. Echo's also kind of like, Victor's dead. You told everyone that. And he chases like, I didn't tell everyone that. They just assume that. And I right. kind of let him. <laughs> That's true. He's really fucking funny in this comic, Chase. Yeah, I kind of like him. Um, well, and I kind of like to laugh at him. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, like. I wouldn't want to hang out with him. No, he's so awful, but he's really funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Echo's like, eh, whatever, I'll go fix this myself. And he goes back down into Zahn, and he goes to uh, go try and confront, you know, help his dad and, and solve everything. But, you know, is this is this is like the Futurama, like, Mother's Day episode. All of the, the, the Victor Augment people are just now running amok and just, like, causing <laughs> fucking chaos. They're, like, kicking people's asses and shit. Um, and he's, he's trying to, he's like, he knows they need to get to Victor. Um, you know, he's got him and his couple other friends who are still unaugmented and they're kind of on the run. And, and the way they kind of solve the problem, I will say, is that, <laughs> is that his friends are really like bad inventors, right? Echo's a really good inventor. His friends are shitty inventors and they make these terrible things like, uh, like sticky shoes. They're shoes that have glue on them. And when you put these inventions in front of the, the Cybermen, right? The augmented Victor people. It like it put it's like a I don't know like a paradox thing it like throws them for a yeah. loop because they can't understand why, <laughs> why you would make something like this. this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this make like sense. why would you put rockets on your knees? That is not the most efficient place to put rockets. <laughs> right. Oh, I love the, like, <laughs> the single hand, but you there's a third hand, but you need to use both your hands to control hands. it. <laughs> it's like that would only leave you with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> and the friend is so defensive and he's like it's not, no it's really good <laughs> these slingshot pants i really like that it's very funny oh, the slingshot yeah, pants the slingshot they were good yeah. <laughs> victor's like a a temporary a temporary setback but it won't last forever but then jace shows up and they kick victor's ass and they destroy the thing that is controlling everybody and victor gets away again oh victor <laughs> we'll get you next time because at this point victor has has gone full take over the world you know yeah. we got to force everyone to be glorious evolved i guess that should be clear he's become complete megalo- megalomaniac um mm-hmm. but uh they save the day everyone's happy chappy uh and and Jace will help Echo's dad get his eyes augmented, but in a way that's not like doesn't have evil shit in them, <laughs> I suppose. And to the guys the guy's credit who was working with Victor, I'll add, he did he was on the level. He was just yeah. trying to do exactly what he said. He didn't yeah. think for some reason he thought Victor would not he thought Victor would be cool. And I don't know, <laughs> Victor was not cool. <laughs> yeah, he was just a, he was just a capitalist trying to make a buck. <laughs> He you believed know. in no, the misunderstood yeah. Victor that we all like. I think yeah. he just thought yeah. that Victor was misunderstood. And I then, do like the yeah. conversation they had at the beginning. It's like we can we can both agree that like you're a genius, but not all your ideas are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just trust me. I'll tell you which ideas are good and which ones are bad. <laughs> which honestly, we all need a friend like that. <laughs> Sure. Uh, you an, put an your IRL phone down. Editor, right? You're not calling him tonight, okay? <laughs> Victor, we're just going to go dance it out. No boy. Victor, just going to go dance. Come on. <laughs> Is that a Dave Cook reference? Yeah. <laughs> like a really, really old, old. Where I just want to stand in a circle or at our pocketbooks and shoes. Just to dance. And dance. <laughs> Why is that seared in our mind? This, y'all, this is, I think, Dade Cook's first special we're referencing right now before things got weird and he became such an asshole. But, but yeah, it's it's, special, man. It's It's in my brain um, for sure. I still call Burger King the BK Lounge sometimes. That's true. (laughs) You gotta. And we did have an obby. So. An obby? That was one of his other ones. I missed that's that fine. One. Sorry. Um, it, it, uh, it's just it's bits and pieces. It's it's just <laughs> a fractured memory in my brain. We get the Victor face reveal. Right? We do. We get a Victor mm-hmm. face reveal. I don't like it. <laughs> he looks, he looks a little like older Arcane than Victor. I thought. And then uh, and then they show Arcane Victor like they show there's like a picture of him and Jace in Arcane. Yes, their oh. arcane yeah. outfits looking yeah. so sharp. And they look like themselves there, but then Jace is very white in this comic, so 
I don't know. I, it's like they wanted a little nod to Arcane in there, but they were still going yeah, with like kinda, League yeah. Universe, Victor mm. and Jace. Yeah, yeah. Think that's which probably. makes sense because you know, yeah, Arcane wasn't canon was, at the time, they weren't, so it wasn't I imagine announced. they'd want to yeah. lean more into the old lore. Man, mm-hmm. joke was on yeah. them. That was yeah. a quick one eighty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're like the comic's done. We just put it up. <laughs> like, okay, but you made sure that it was like it was in line with Arcane, right? They said what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they could do with Victor in that case, but yeah. I did like, as far as like continuing Jace's shit, I like who he's become in this a little bit because he's still his arrogant self, but he's actually trying to be a little bit more heroic. Like his whole thing at the end is like, he's going to fix all of their augments, he says. Like he is going to mm. for free fix every single person who got Victor's augment, which that's kind of a big deal. Sure. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I liked the... So Echo and, and Jace fight, right? And and one of Jace's medals gets smashed. And I like Echo's line of like, you should smash all these medals, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and I guess the other thing for... I don't know, this is Echo shit. I don't want to get into it. I was going to talk about like the Echo stuff. I liked the Echo stuff a lot. I really liked the stuff with him and his dad, I'll say in particular. Yeah. Um, I thought that like... Great. I, we should really save it for a revisit because I'll just I'll just gush about it ultimately. Yeah, we for should. The, for the, yeah, the, for yeah. Sure. We'll have a revisit. We can talk about we're it. We're gonna revisit Echo this for sure. We've already yeah. revisited yeah. Echo once. We're gonna fucking do it again. <laughs> you know what? How appropriate. Maybe we'll play right? Convergence or something. <laughs> right. We're gonna revisit oh, it time true. and time and time and time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if they keep putting out good stuff for him, I'll I'll gladly keep going back to Echo. Um, right. And I love the arcane version of Echo too. So when we get more of that, like fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. For for Victor's part, I I was I was I was a lot more miffed. I think because like we said, I like the not super villain Victor. This is he's he is full he's full Doctor Doom in this really quickly. And there's right. like like I said, the moment the moment where like he goes there and and the guy's like, oh, we'll fix this problem, and he presses the button, and it's like just this stream of they're still people, right? They just have robot bodies, and like their heads are in jars. Again, it's very Futurama, and 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 they're just like they're slamming down like these metal like plates over this fire and then the one behind them will put the metal plate like over the next person in front of them until they just create enough of a mass to like solve the problem it's like it's in my mind it was like oh this is kind of haunting and chilling and victor's like oh that's super cool that's yeah. awesome that it seems seem so like that's what he was going too. for yeah it didn't feel like that's what victor's going for when he's talking about augmenting people to be their most proficient selves I didn't think that meant throwing yourselves on a chemical fire. It's interesting because, like, on the one side, it's definitely not what original Victor was shooting for, but it is what would happen if what he wanted to do made it into a more widespread distribution, like just taking away someone's fear response. Like, that is something they might do. It, it's like, it That's is a true. logical conclusion yeah. to what he wanted just in a you know i don't think he wanted it at that point <laughs> I, I i i agree i guess i would like it to be something that spurs him to self-reflect to look at that and realize oh i guess that makes sense that that's how it would manifest <laughs> i don't know how i feel about that especially since i've removed a lot of my emotional processing like ability <laughs> i don't know right that's like something said, that a... arcane Victor would have reflected on. Be like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, right. That's not what I meant. And then, <laughs> in the pursuit of and great, then... we failed to do good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and like him and and then you could have him and Jace on like a team up trying to stop the this cult, this like run amok like cult of glorious evolved leader who's doing this other crazy shit. It's like I think that's more maybe what I would like to see with Victor rather than him being like, okay, yeah, let's robots for everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> robots for everybody. Not for you everybody. As everybody. You are it. everybody. Yeah. You are a everybody robot. Is and you robots. are a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, you know, it's, yeah, I, I like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I, f- I feel about it as much, as much here. Um, yeah, I, I like him in like the, the initial, it, like more in the initial issue when he's just kind of doing his his like Phantom of the Opera thing a little bit, you know. It's just like <laughs> after he takes <laughs> his, nice his dramatic, <laughs> yeah, he's got I his pipe organ. Yeah. Do 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 do. But um, <laughs> it's but yeah, in the later parts where he's like, you know what's so funny too is that like in the 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 very first um 
issue like the last panel is this like half page panel of like it's like this like looking up shot at him and he's like yeah yes and he's like surrounded by like these tubes with like weird human forms in it and it's like god man there's like we're there's we've gone fully off the deep end with victor i don't know <laughs> yeah. he so. worked as a villain for the comic for sure but yeah, think, yeah. Not, the, not the not the Victor that's the most fascinating to me. Not my Victor. Not my Victor. Yeah, this feels I like more like Urlock Urgot shit almost. <laughs> a little, or, or you know. like Renata it's type stuff. Oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. it would be very Renata. And that's the thing, it's like Renata yeah. does the super villain thing, I think just way better, right? In in a way that just feels like more clean. Then with Victor, it's like, why are we trying to have us like sympathize with him? But he's he's doing this shit that's pretty like heinous and doesn't really feel like it's coming from a, it doesn't feel like it's coming from a place of like well I can at least understand his perspective it's just like oh he's just he's just doing evil super villain shit go you know Echo and, and crew got, gotta save the day you know I don't know and honestly if he had waited just a little bit then that whole like turn the mind control thing on and take control of everyone would have been so much more effective because That's man, those true. augments were getting out there. <laughs> All he had yeah. to do was fucking chill his jets. That's true. <laughs> it's it's an, yeah, you're absolutely right. They could have waited for it to go to Piltover. Even. Yeah. Eventually, Piltover would have taken. No, I mean it would have taken maybe a couple of years, but there's your world dominant, or at least Piltover's right. on dominant. What is a couple again. years to a robot? <laughs> yeah. All right. It's it's true. It, it doesn't make like it doesn't make the most sense. You, like yeah. even from that perspective of like why did he make that decision? It just feels like again. It seems like he was really caught up in the emotion of it all, which right? is just like it. I don't know. Is he supposed to be a weird emotionless robot? Is he supposed to have an emotional core but just kind of denies it? Um, yeah, that's I don't some know. personal hex core. It's just his emotions. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I, I, ha- I have a handful of stories that he's mentioned in, too. Ooh, okay. Okay. I mean, obviously, The Defender of Tomorrow, which is the Jace bio, where we get the same story, but from Jace's side. Obviously, Victor's the villain in that one. Uh, we have The Great Steam Golem, where basically we just find out that Victor found Blitzcrank. He improved him through Hextech, but he just kind of found him. <laughs> uh, Maybe that's... Yeah. And then The Council Archives, which I feel like we have to take as canon... They're, they're, yeah, they were so. arcane. Mm. Uh, so we get entries from Jace's journal. There's a bunch of him experimenting with Hextech. Um, and then they then they resume after his confiscated journal is returned. Um, and then he starts talking about Victor, uh, which, funny note, at first he has no idea what Victor's last name is. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot. I don't know what his last <laughs> oh. We've been working together for a little while now. I don't know what his last <laughs> no. name is. Um, and then they pick up where he and Victor broke into Heimerdinger's lab. Um, and apparently the experimentation process was much more lengthy than we see in the show. Uh, there was a lot of failed uh, attempts before we get the one that actually broke the window and drew Heimerdinger's attention. There's a lot of failed experiments there. But uh, one, of the, one of the interesting things was that they do have... Um, he has a lot of journal entries where he's out looking for something like the Hextech crystal. Um, and I think they finally, um, when he finally gets his big break, it's in an undisclosed, unspecified desert. <laughs> um, could be any oh, desert. It could be any desert. There's so many in Runeterra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yes, that was interesting. Huh. Uh, mm. Also, he shows up in Punches and Plants. In that great Blitz interaction from the Vi episode that we talked about in the Vi episode oh, where yeah. Victor was so proud of Blitz yeah. Crank for trying to destroy Valoran only to be so disappointed when he found out Blitz was just being mind controlled and is a robot of the law now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's like canon. Yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. Are you ready well, to eat some canon. crow and talk about old right. Victor? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess we have been talking about old Victor. We're gonna talk about old old Victor next. I suppose. I'll talk about a little old old Victor. I mean, there's various versions. If I'll I'll talk about the oldest oh. version, yeah. And then if you have like a more recent version, you can kind of talk about nah, that. Like the only one I saw was the one where he joins the League of Legends. And oh, okay. 
Honestly, mm-hmm. it's got a lot of the same story beats. Um, one of the big differences is that after Stanwick stole credit for Blitzcrank, he also used Victor's research to revive Urgot. Oh, oh no shit. I guess I, I missed that. Like or maybe that. I was... Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, obviously, the, the quote for joining the League. Victor joined the League of Legends to pit his inventions against the greatest opponents Valorant could offer and to correct any weakness or inefficiencies that remained. Solid. I, I feel like I feel like we talked some some shit about old old Victor, and I talked some shit about old lore in the, just a couple episodes ago. But I kind of like when I read that, I was like, oh, this is kind of what I just wanted for Victor because it's like he gets his shit stolen, and then he just kind of sinks into a deep depression and just kind of disappears. And next time he shows up, he's pretty much mostly robot, and that's right. all he's. And he just kind of shows up to do up. league. Yeah, do league and it's like I. <laughs> That's kind of what I just like after reading all this. That's kind of what I just want more. Is is not like him with being a a, a big supervillain, but just like some guy who disappeared and was lonely and is just shown back up to because he's got this idea for the way things should be and he just wants to like prove it out, I guess, like to people or like make himself him. It's only it's almost like he's more like self focused. He just wants himself to be the best. Totally, one hundred percent efficient, emotionless robot that can be. Um, he does, but he but doesn't seem to want to do even it because I love people. sweet milk too much. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. So, I think it's funny that like I don't know. We started out this place, and then all this shit happened. We've got an almost two thousand word bio, and like at the end of it, I'm looking back at the old stuff. I was like, I kind of just want that. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's how a lot of Victor fans felt. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can, I can think I can sympathize a bit, a bit more. Um, I don't know. It's I like the connecting to him to Jace. Like certainly, I like a lot of what we got going in Arca- in Arcane. I think that's better than him just being this solo guy who has no connections or, or is really doing anything with anybody. Um, yeah. So. Uh, he's in a handful of cinematics. Mm, really. First up, we got Worlds Collide, where uh, Victor is fighting Ari in a freeze frame. Next up, (laughs) we got Mac Client Available, where his hand is in it, uh, which might technically be the most of an actual champion's body to show up in the Mac Client (laughs) trailer, except for maybe Zach's blob. The Zach thing, yeah. Uh, (laughs) Which one's got more volume? Right. (laughs) Uh, he shows up in Unstoppable, which is a double lift story, which highlights some of his career moments, including the one where he gets one shot by Victor as Lucian. <laughs> uh, and then in the Just One More animation, which is inspired by the true story of the five North American League of Legends players with the longest losing streak in one sitting, uh, in one of their losses, it looks like Victor straight up 1v5 them. <laughs> You're good enough. Yo, speak no with Victor. <laughs> I love I've playing Victor. I've never wanted to play laser. Victor, and oh, I still don't. No, the last t- the last <laughs> Victor game I had was an ARAM like a week ago or so. Was I playing with you, Mark? I fucking kicked ass. I don't remember. I, I it was probably not. You or Mike. I, I feel like I've. I feel like I haven't played in a, re- a lot recently in the last couple of days, at least. So no, it was like a week ago. But yeah, uh, it was okay. just like a random ARAM. Hmm. It was dope. Nice. It was a good one. You're though, badass. Like, yeah, I, you hear? <laughs> I hear. I hear tell. Mm-hmm. Uh, only thing I have for quotes, because we talked about the my opponent needs to be upgraded one. Uh, Victor and Jace both have the quote, pave the way. Oh, I do like that they should like share that. a quote, but in a different way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Y'all want to hear about some AUs? It's actually not like a yeah. ton. Yeah. It's okay. not a ton of skins. Yeah. Which I remember every time I play Victor. <laughs> and I have to play like... God, which one do I even play? I don't have any good ones. I know, right? Which one do you play? I'm curious. Uh, we'll start with Ages of Runeterra, Other Roads. A feather knight flaps its wings, and halfway across Runeterra, an ocean drake surfaces. Our lives play out, fickle as words on parchment, the paths before us unknown and exciting. What if the road taken instead was the one less traveled? Oh. And this is Prototype Victor. Which has no lore. I play this one sometimes. Oh, it's me full metal. Like, Victor has like no helmet, and his colors are a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, full metal baby. This is the heavy oh, okay. metal AU. 
Audiences oh, gather what? from all over the world for a chance to witness the greatest robot fighters throw down in Riot Corp's gladiatorial arenas, eager for the chance to be crowned the full Metal Robot Fighting League champion, or break down trying. This is Full Machine Victor. Created from the same circuitry as the Full Metal Champion Jace, Victor was cast into the tunnels beneath the robot fighting arenas to serve as a janitor bot. While his twin was groomed for glory, simulcast on Espanol, upgrading himself with the cast-offs of the destroyed, he has sworn la venganza. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a certain war turrets. We just spun around and crashed into ourselves. That was so weird. I wasn't expecting that at all. I didn't like, yeah. He's That's like so fresh funny. kind of in that one almost. Like, like Plus the, I don't know, that's uh, weird. Yeah, he's great, great. They just get so like Telemundo old. Victor. Poor Victor. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. One yeah. Plays <laughs> uh, next up, we got PsyOps Black Rose Group. A psychic paramilitary unit of fearsome power, the Black Rose Group hopes to create a new global order with their ferocious human bioweapons. This one, PsyOps Victor. Leader of the rogue military known as the Black Rose Group. Victor is a psychic technomancer whose vision for a utopian world was abandoned when he suddenly departed High Command decades prior, obsessed with an alien gate uncovered during the Arctic Ops event. His experiments into human bioweapons would allow him to breach it and upend the global order. Uh, now, fun fact about this one. The alien gate that he's referencing likely, likely connects PsyOps to the Odyssey and Event Horizon AUs. Oh, I feel like you've mentioned that connection before, but I never knew what it actually was. Yeah, that's uh, oh, okay. that was what Game Victor discovered. Um, there's also a cinematic associated with this, which Victor is tagged in. It's iffy, uh, because five of the uh, PSYOP skins were released at the same time, and the other four all get call-outs at the end of the cinematic, but he doesn't. And he also has no fun <laughs> nickname like the others do, but he's here in Great. spirit. Great. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Next up, we got Battlecast. The glorious revolution is here. Assembling an army of machines with living brains, Victor marches against the combined forces of his enemies, with only a scrappy human led resistance keeping him from total world domination. And this is Creator Victor. The creator of the Battlecast Machine Army, Victor has perfected the art of transplanting living brains into low-tech mass-produced weapons. But his work is far from complete, and even now he tinkers on newer, deadlier creations to crush all who oppose him. I got a couple fun facts about this skin. Mm. Uh, within the lore, Victor is rivaled by Jace's resistance, uh, and this relationship is apparent within the Evolution skin series. Um, also, the Splash teased a bunch of unreleased Battlecast skins. Oh. Um, most of the ones that were in the Splash art for that hadn't actually been released when he was released. Um, and uh, Creator Victor's the only skin where Victor is depicted as having his right hand replaced instead of his left mm. one. Hmm. Huh. Uh, also, his backing animation teased Belveth. Teased Belveth? Did yeah, really? and 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 Battlecast Velkaz's splash teased Belveth too. How there was a mechanical manta ray in the back of both of them, and it was like the only creature in the splash and in the backing animation that didn't have an associated uh, heavy met or uh, Battlecast skin yet. So it's in his backing animation and Velkaz's. Now, to be fair. It's very hidden in Velkaz's splash. Oh, okay. You kind of have to, like, you know, there are people that, like, Squint. zoomed in and circled it for you. <laughs> but it is a is very like clear master like shape. Huh? Interesting. Sure. I'm, yeah, I see it. It's not, yeah. Is it now, I assume that they just had some of these shapes in mind, and maybe that, like, it's not, like, right. Belveth specific. Yeah, thing, right? yeah. yeah. Like they wanted to that is still neat, and, though. Yeah, yeah right. Like, we they need a battle cast Belveth. It's cool as hell. Oh, shit. I can yeah. see that. They do yeah. now. They teased it forever ago. <laughs> Next up, we got High Noon Gothic. 
Gunslingers and lawmen ride beneath the merciless sun of the high frontier, chasing survival and salvation in equal measure. Heaven is rubble, hell is empty, and all the devils are here. This is High Noon Victor. Many a road to hell was paved with good intent. Dr. Victor may be the mechanical devil's kept engineer now, but his work began as charity trying to rehome the souls of the dead in clockwork bodies in order to circumvent mortality itself. Shame that Mordekaiser saw the good doctor's kindness and struck him a deal he could not deny. Hmm. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> and finally, Death Sworn. Death Sword. Eager to claim more souls for the underworld, Death sends the souls of fallen warriors as Death Sworn back to the mortal plane where they serve their master's terrible bidding with relish. This is Death Sworn Victor. On a cold, dreary night, a pioneering inventor was tried and hanged for preaching his glorious vision of the future, a world in which the living knelt before the dead. Dead. Death had to admire Victor's conviction and sent him back into the mortal world blessed with powers beyond imagination. Man, I feel like that was not a good, like, I don't understand what his sales pitch could have been. Like, okay, imagine this. Right. You're uh, all slaves to the dead. <laughs> it sounds cool, Stay huh? With me, uh -huh. Stay with me. Is it great, right? You the know what? I feel plan. like a lot of people would take that deal right now. Yeah. Yeah, Do you think, the AU, so. before you get into the oh, fun yeah, facts, yeah. that season two will finally give us Arcane Victor? Like, whatever Victor looks like at the end of season two, I want Arcane yeah. Victor so bad. Oh, like a that's, new skin. Oh, yeah, 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 a skin, skin, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like that. I know. Unless they make Arcane Victor look exactly like base skin. I they wouldn't do that, though. There's an opportunity that. for them to make money here, so. Well, no, they, they give away the Arcane skins for free, didn't they? Oh, that's true. Uh, they did. They, yeah. they did. I don't know if they. I think yeah. they tweak it to look better. Not better. I mean, he looks good in game, but to fit more in line with what he's got going on. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I for already sure. want the mechanical leg. That'd be cool as shit. Right. It's a little weird boy leg. Mechan yeah. Oh sure. Sorry. I, I was thinking like third leg situation, and you got me. You got me uh, fucked up for a second. I got there. you fucked. <laughs> I got dicks, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're in a podcast with two guys. We're gonna talk about dicks. It's on, it's it's on the mind, 24-7. Whenever I ask Poppy to say a word now, by the way, oh, I'll be like, can you say cow or something? She'll go, dick, instead. It's like she's saying dick, like dick. What's she it's trying like she's to say, or is she just like that sound? specifically from that cyanide and happiness Yeah, dick. I don't know what she's dicks. trying to say. She just thinks it's funny. And I'll say the sound back to her, and then she starts cracking up. That every time I try to get her to say a word, she goes, dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then just starts laughing. <laughs> and I'm like, I apparently can't try to get you to say new words now because you just say she's, duke. She's a little, she's a little bro. You're a little. <laughs> it is like funny. It. We were cracking each other up earlier, right? going duke. She's at right. Each other. It's fun. <laughs> she's right. It's fun. I can't fault she's her. She's got for a that. good sense of humor. She doesn't need to know right? how to say cow. She could say duke. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. It's, it's a... <laughs> Speaking of funny, mm. y'all want some fun? facts mm -hmm. sure like yeah. that like that transition mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh victor's voiced by owen thomas in both league of legends and legends of runeterra uh twisted fates also voiced by him so, oh you know. damn oh, cool range yeah. <laughs> russian and cajun <laughs> uh victor is voiced by harry lloyd in arcane and uh ed and hayhurst voices young victor Hmm. Huh. Uh, Victor was concepted to be part of the Rift Quest skin line as the dungeon master of the group, and his staff would have had a 20 sided die on top. Oh, uh, right. You owe hmm. us that. Yeah, why? Why? What would the it hell? Like the laser would just like roll the dice. <gasps> that been... I don't oh. be a number at the end. Oh. Why did, we, why did they not do that? Do they hate <laughs> money or like what's up? Right. Do you hate me? If you hate I me, Ryan, Ryan, be honest. Ryan, Ryan, do you hate me, man? Am I, I annoying we cool. you? <laughs> Victor's third arm was originally just an arm, 
Uh, it didn't actually do anything cool, but Riot added lasers to it because they couldn't find any other purpose for it. <laughs> They're like, we know we want him to have an arm coming out of his yeah. head. Yeah, this is a must, <laughs> but what should it do? <laughs> uh, Victor's lore resembles a lot of um, Nikola Tesla. Uh, so That's true. I do remember him scooping out all of those brains. <laughs> so, uh, professors... <laughs> No one likes to talk about it, but like we should talk about. We this should talk more. about how he scooped out all those brains of those people. Uh, Professor Stanwick stole credit for Victor's creation, Blitzcrank, similar to uh, you know Thomas Edison stealing credit for a lot of Tesla's work, and you know uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, Guglielmo Marsoni for stealing credit for the radio. Um, and Victor's own abilities also took inspiration from a lot of Tesla's works that were never realized, like the death ray, a gravity device, magnetic shielding, and ionic storms. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Neat. Is Tesla just like a supervillain in the waiting? He was trying. Like the technology well, wasn't there The technology there wasn't there yet. <laughs> I love that for him. What a boss. Uh, despite being heavily augmented, Victor still enjoys drinking sweet milk. You know. Just, uh, we did talk just, about that. Yeah. Uh, Victor's dance references the Melbourne Shuffle, which is, unsurprisingly, a dance originating from Australia. <laughs> it's a great dance. <laughs> it's got a good one. Uh, and then Victor was the first champion who had a unique item available only for him, mm. his original prototype hex core. Um, he shared this feature with uh, Callista and old Rengar back in the day. Yeah. 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 For anyone who hadn't played him back then, there was an item slot taken up by <laughs> this item you had to get if you wanted to upgrade your uh, abilities. Yeah. It's you up. had to pay to yeah. upgrade the item. Yeah, there were, there were a few chance. They, they they don't do that anymore. I feel like they no. decided yeah. that yeah. that was an unfun mechanic. Yeah. But uh, yeah, old Rengar's bone tooth necklace used to be an item slot. <laughs> Mm hmm. Yeah, <laughs> memories. Right? <laughs> I guess I technically all Callista that still got it, but, you know, she uses it. Who? Yeah, she puts Callista. it in somebody. Oh. Yeah, she, she guts someone real good. <laughs> well, that's Victor. That's Any Victor. final thoughts? <laughs> I'm excited for season two. Me too. Yeah. 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 Um, I think kind of like we talked about with Vi, right? When, when we have that in place, we'll... Uh, and also, even when we go back and look at Arcane Season 1, you know, we'll look at it with a fresh new eyes and we'll be able to really yeah. kind of dig into Victor a bit more um, as, he is the, as he is depicted in current canon, I guess. Right, I was going to say, we'll finally get a view of canon Victor, which we don't have a lot of. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm hopeful. I think for a guy who started out as a Doctor Doom ripoff, you know, he's he's come a long way, or he'll have come a long way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Good for I him. A, a lot of those early champions, they had like you know a real core central idea that they wanted to kind of work with for fun. Yeah, I feel like it was more about the archetype. gameplay and less about the <laughs> yeah the lore that itself. Is, that is what I was gonna say. I, I, I remember is that like the only issue with quiet misunderstood victor that i like is that he doesn't do a lot of lasering or like you know like shooting people with cool weapons and things so it's really hard to get like that sort of translated in a way so i can see why they want him to they kind of lean towards the supervillain side in some ways right yeah jace killed someone before victor did <laughs> <It can't. laughs> that's true Shit. who's the villain here <laughs> <laughs> I guess well. technically the fall killed him. <laughs> it's not the fall; it's the sudden stop at the end, <laughs> and also the power, the power blast or whatever. You know, like. That's true. <laughs> the hammer to the face. Um, well, that was Victor. Thank you very much for listening. We have a Twitch, Twitch TV slash Warheads. John streams on Saturdays. See just TFT and Arams with viewers. So if you uh, pop on over. And then go in the chat and be like, John, I want to play next. You could play. Yeah, you're in. And yeah. If, and if you have a champion, if you pop in for the TFT section and there's a champion you like and you know nothing about TFT, let me know. I'll build a whole comp around him. Fuck yeah. it. He's real good at uh, in double up right now. He's diamond one. He's trying to get the masters in We're TFT. So close. I know. Ooh. So he's pretty. You're in D1. Pretty I guess good. I. Yeah. 
Is this are you talking about solo? Are you doing the the, the, no, the it's doubles? Duos no, it's, yeah. I don't have time for duo gotcha. and solo. We yeah. got, I got to choose oh, okay. one. Although you've gotten a diamond in gotcha. solo as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's real good. Nice. I stream on Mondays, um, not with viewers, just with buddies. The three of us will usually play some Summoner Shrift and with a couple other friends, something like that. Yeah. I do want to restart streaming uh, games throughout the week. Yeah. Um. It's hard to find a night. Yeah. Anytime I buy a game, mm. I want to stream it at least once on PC because now I can write it off on my taxes. So <laughs> I got to make sure I there's see a video John. for it. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> so that's why you want to do it, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. We have a YouTube. We post videos of this and clips as well. And John has some fun parody songs. And we'll post swads and, and stuff like that. Sometimes John will post TFT games. And things like that if you're never able to catch a stream but want to see a VOD or something you can check out the youtube and we have a discord you want to find some people to play league with post weird memes talk about books movies tv your cat post your cat post pictures of your cat please can post you po- your cat, post your nice. cat can you post Come pictures on. of your cat actually please and tag quit me. holding that um, on us quit holding it out you give me that <laughs> cat right that fucking cat. meow get now this is sounding dirty. right fucking meow <laughs> right fucking meow <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's linked uh, places. Probably this episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have a Patreon. We recently posted the Earthitational, which was really fun. Us reacting to that. It's um, for all bonus content. It's five dollars a month uh, for bonus episodes, audio and video. Well, we're gonna probably do some fun games coming up soon and stuff like that. Yeah, we try to post at least once a month something there. Uh, it's uh, patreon.com slash leak of loreheads, I want to say. Yeah, sounds right. That's that our sounds name. right. It's probably it. <laughs> leak of loreheads or loreheads, something like that. <laughs> Thank just you so go much there for our Patreon. Subscribe. Yeah, just fine. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the first Whatever person you, you see on, on. Patreon. <laughs> 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 Thank you, patrons. Uh, but a very special thank you to our Madarda tier patrons <laughs> Mr. Dead, King of Hearts, and John Has a Dig Bick. Uh, if you were. If you had your your brains um, corrupted, I would successfully transplant them into automatons for you and also fight off Jace so that he didn't bring down the entire factory on us and you would live forever, you are friends! Not, not qualified <laughs> well, to open somebody's <laughs> skull. No, no, well, no, well, I'm not qualified. I just said you I'd could do open it. the skull. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Results not guaranteed. <laughs> It should be at the end of all of your promises for the majority of here. <laughs> well, please be sure to join us next week as we talk about another weird guy who likes gooey stuff, the Crimson Reaper, Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs>